Hi everyone, welcome to the Naval Group Shipyard in Lorient. Today is an important event as the French Shipbuilder is hosting the launch ceremony for Kimon, the first next generation FDI frigate for the Hellenic Navy. Stéphane Frémont, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. You are the head of surface combatants at Naval Group. What is your feeling today on this important milestone? Well, we are very proud uh, as we are whenever we uh, uh, have a new ship at sea. And uh, today is the, uh, the launching of the first frigate for the Hellenic Navy, the HS Kimon. So it's a very important day, of course, for Naval Group. What is next for uh, Naval Group regarding this program? Well, uh, next will come very soon because uh, we, we will put uh, in the dry dock uh, the first section for the second frigate for the Hellenic Navy, eh, which is called the uh, HS Nearcos. So uh, while we continue working on Kimon, we start assembling the hull for the second frigate. And regarding the Kimon, uh, we will install in a few weeks from now the PSIM, uh, the modular panoramic mast, on board Kimon uh, to start connecting all the systems to the platform. Uh, Naval Group is uh, building those uh, next generation frigates in record time. How do you achieve this? Well, we have put in place uh, an industrial organization which is very efficient, uh, where uh, all operations are planned very carefully. And uh, this has allowed us to assemble the Kimon frigate in less than five months. Uh, and then, after only 11 months in the construction dry dock, to be able to launch the ship. And we will repeat this operation. We are capable of having one or two ships in our construction dry dock, which allows delivery time between six and 12 months between two ships. In parallel, you are also connecting the outfitting for the first of class for the French Navy, the Admiral Ronard. Uh, what's the current status of this uh, frigate? Well, we, as you said, we are uh, continuing the outfitting and preparing for the first sea going, which will happen uh, early 2024 uh, and which will mark uh, the beginning of the sea trials for these frigates. Uh, Greece is also looking at uh, new corvettes. Uh, is there anything you can share with us today? that uh, we have taken the opportunity of the presence of the Hellenic Navy uh, in Lorient to show them uh, the uh, going corvette uh, that we are currently uh, producing for the uh, UAE Navy and uh, they have had the opportunity to visit the ship and to appreciate uh, in live uh, the, all the qualities of the ship. <laughs> I am now joined by Naval News uh, Greece-based correspondent Dimitris Mitsopoulos. Dimitris, good afternoon. Hi, Xavier. Good afternoon. It's nice, nice to be, nice being here. Yeah, indeed, uh, very, uh, very important event. This ship is a big deal for the Hellenic Navy, and uh, that's what I wanted to discuss with you now. Uh, in your opinion, so how important are the FDI HN? Yeah, it's really important. Uh, like uh, all Greeks, all Greek media reported that. Uh, like it's a very historical moment, no, and not only historical, but at the same time, it's an emotional moment, because it's been uh, like uh, three decades since uh, Greece ordered the last ship, the last modern frigate. Uh, so this is not just just a simple frigate. It's one of, of the most advanced ships uh, worldwide. Uh, it features an uh, active guided missile systems. Uh, and a very advanced radar that is not yet uh, in, uh, not yet in service. Uh, so everything will be very, very modern and very advanced. And, and all Greek uh, journalists who attended here the event uh, are very, very happy. Also the prime, the minister of defense said that that, uh, we, it's, that he was feeling very emotional uh, being here. Uh, and the friends are really proud of this program because it's, it uh, shows the close co cooperation between the two countries and the two navies. Very well, Dimitris, thank you very much.